Hey everybody, Mark Spector Comics and I'm back. This time I'm doing a challenge video. I was tagged from my friend Mike from Lunch Money Comics to do my top five comics in my collection. If you're interested in seeing what my top five books are, stay tuned for that intro. All right, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you get in a timely fashion. Um, so I like doing these challenges from, you know, when they do come out in the community. This one was brought out from Alex, the comic hoarder. Um, he was the one that originated this particular tag. And I, I like to see these tag, you know, these tags um, go out throughout the community, doing these fun challenges. So, um, you know, Bring some more in the community. These are fun to do. Um, so this one was your top five, you know, comic books in your collection. Whether they're um, most valuable, um, whether you're, you know, your favorite character, whatever it may be, your top five books. Um, so I'm gonna change it up a little bit because in previous tags I have done like my top five, you know, most valuable books and stuff like that. So. Um, I'm not going to be doing my most valuable books. I'm going to be just doing like my top five books. And um, I'll, you know, I will put out like one pricey book in there as well. But um, I'm going to do like a little bit, some more like sentimental books and, uh, you know, books like that. And I will give one honorable mention because this was a rather difficult thing to do, just like a top five video. And then I'll uh, wrap it up with some tags at the end. So in no particular order, I'm just going to start off with a book. And um, so, book number one, uh, Justice League, issue number 25. And uh, <laughs> I can almost guarantee nobody's going to show off this book in their, uh, you know, top five video. Um, this does have some minor first appearance of um, Apex Lef uh, Lex Luthor, uh, first appearance. But uh, more importantly to me, this book is in my top five because this was actually the first book that I read to my son when he was, uh, I believe, a little after one a year old, um, if I'm not mistaken. I do have a picture lying around somewhere, in, uh, <laughs> but I, I can't find it offhand. But uh, that's why this is on my top five book. So that's number one. And like I said, no particular order. Um, book number two, it wouldn't be, um, I've shown this book off many times before on my channel. Uh, this is, you know, channels called Mark Spector Comics. It wouldn't be, uh, it wouldn't be right if I didn't have the first appearance. So, uh, of course I got, uh, Werewolf by Night, issue number 32 at, uh, CGC 7.0. Um, and this is the UK Pence variant, much harder to get than the uh, traditional US variant. Um, but uh, yeah, I ended up getting this uh, a few years ago. Um, as the book was starting to get a little pricey, I think uh, by now the prices have come down from its peaks for this book. But I do expect it to continue to go back up long term. But uh, absolutely one of the top tier Bronze Age uh, first appearances to pick up if you don't have it. But yeah, first appearance of uh, Mark Spector, Moon Knight. So that's number two. All right. Number three. This was, you know, in my top five list because this was actually the first book that I ended up um, purchasing. This is what got me into comic books. I've never shown this book off before. Uh, at least I don't think so. Um, I know a lot of people probably do have this book in their collection because uh, this is some early 90s goodness, especially shiny, shiny 90s goodness. And uh, this is, as you can see there in that reflection, this is Spectacular Spider-Man, issue number 200. Um, I did buy this originally as a, a graded 9.8. You can see it's one of these uh, older labels there. Um, but um, this is uh, from uh, 1993. And um, this is the death of Harry Osborn. Um, 
I didn't really know that at the time, you know, but I just got it because this is just a really cool cover. Um, you know, I needed, I needed to get a really cool cover to get me into collecting. So, uh, you know, this is special to me because this is the first comic book that I ever bought um, when I got into collecting. So uh, I don't know if you guys still have your first book that you purchased when you got into collecting comic books, but uh, this is this book won't be going anywhere. This is this stays in, t in the PC forever. All right. So that's number three. Um, number four. Number four. This would. Uh, I believe this is the most expensive book that I've purchased and the most valuable book um, that I have in the collection. I ended up buying this last year. Um, you probably have seen it in one of my previous videos, but this is um, Wonder Woman issue number seven from uh, well, winter of 1943. Um, this is a classic Wonder Woman cover done by H.G. Peters. And um, this is a Wonder Woman, as you can see, for president um, cover. It's a patriotic cover, just a beautiful cover. It's a single, single digit Wonder Woman book, which these are, geez, that they're, they're, they're pretty rare to get any of them this early. Um, and uh, this book does command a price if and when you do see it on the market. Um, so, yeah, this is number four. Uh, Wonder Woman number seven. And then, all right, we're going to show off the last book. This is definitely a book I've never shown on my channel. And it's also a pretty rare book. Um, and I believe this also constitutes as my oldest book in the collection. And this is from... Uh, I want to say mid to late 30s. Um, so this is Weird Tales. And um, so this is an interesting book. I This book has two different things going on for it. Um, as you can see the cover. So the cover itself is, I believe, the second appearance of Conan. Um, it's a classic cover. I forget who the cover artist is, but the fun, I ended up picking this up at um, an antique shop, not really knowing too much about pulps and, uh, you know, trying to find some of these older pulps from the uh, 20s and 30s are quite difficult nowadays. But um, the so the cover is from 1934. But when I did some more research on it, the book itself is from 1939. And um, I had to look at it closely and do some research on it. We're not going to be able to tell, but um, on the side of it, it says October of 1939. Um, and back then it was, um, I think it was a 15 cent book then, 15 or 25 cent book. But um, yeah, so this book ended up being restored because somebody ended up putting the cover from 1934 onto a 1939 book. Don't ask me why. But nonetheless, it's still a really rare book to find any of these um, old pulps, um, especially, you know, with the stories that are inside. I believe this is, yeah, it's an HP uh, Lovecraft story. There's, I think, several in there. And uh, if you're not familiar with HP Lovecraft, he did tons, tons of great, um, you know, science fiction stories from in the 30s and the 40s. And this also... Um, you do get some of these really cool Robert E. Howard stories in there as well, which uh, if, you're, if you're a Conan the Barbarian fan, you know how near and dear uh, Robert E. Howard is uh, to you. And so that's my top five books. I do want to show off uh, an honorable mention. Like I said, this was a very difficult uh, top five for me to do. And um, I have shown this book off before. This is my favorite um frank frazetta book that i have in the collection i think it's probably i only have one other if i'm not mistaken but uh to me this is frank frazetta's best artwork and uh bill did show off this book in his top five as well and uh this is my copy this is weird science fantasy issue number 29 at a cgc 4.5 just a beautiful beautiful cover like i said um 
to me, this is what defines Frank Frazetta's artwork, is this cover art right here. So uh, there you go. Um, that's my top five. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Showed a little bit of uh, sentimental books, some rare books, you know, some cool books in there. Um, I'm going to tag, I'm going to tag some people. Let me see, who do I want to tag for this challenge? I'm going to say, let's do uh, my buddy Will, Will the Beast. I want to see what your top five books are. Let's do, um, let's do my buddy Kevin from uh, Superpower Review. And then my, let's do one more. Um, and then the last one, and I'm not sure if he, if he's done one already or not. Let's do, um, Mark from Legion of Comics. All right. So that's going to be my top, well, my top five and my tags for the, uh, for this challenge. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did hit the like, subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, Mark's with the comics.